Morning guys, it's Sunday morning. Look at this sky, such a beautiful morning. It's just before 10 o'clock and I've come back down this morning. I'm gonna get those strawberry plants in um, from my allotment neighbor who, yeah, so that's good. Always nice to get something for nothing. So I'm just gonna prepare the bed. We'll go down and get them, have a look at them. I've got no clue, I've never got runners like dug up strawberry plants or anything. Everything as you know on here is pretty much brand new to me. So, I had a little look and it did say that you could put some like well-rotted manure in the soil first of all before planting and we have got a few bags of that from the back end of last year so I think I'll just prepare the beds first then we'll go get the plants get them in and that'll probably be my morning's work for today it's just bit by bit I think um just small jobs at a time and then I think this afternoon I'm going to go to Wilco's and maybe get some onion sets I don't know <laughs> I ain't got a clue. So, but we'll go and have a little look at that as well. So, let's get started. So, I'm just working out which bed I want to put them in. Um, these ones I had compotting. These look like they need topping up a bit and they obviously need just weeding a bit. But I'm thinking about maybe putting them in one of these ones which had just had like the soil in from last year when we made the beds. Um, so, I might just pop a bit of the well rotted um, horse manure in these fork that in so yeah maybe do it in which bed will I do it I don't know I don't suppose it really matters um do it in that second one there I think we'll do it in that one and then yeah that's what we're gonna do so I just go for the third bed down and there's not that much that needs doing in here really I don't think Um, and we did dig it over last year, but if I can get away without digging it, I will. Who's talking to? Me. Huh? Myself. Oh, So, I've got like a load of bags of rotted manure here, as you can see. So I'm just going to put that, like top, top dress the bed, I think, and then just sort of fork it in a little bit. I don't know. Um, but the weeds are out. These are just old sort of stalks and that from the courgettes and pumpkins. So there shouldn't be a problem at all. Disgusting. <laughs> I didn't know it'd look like that. So um, I've took that in and then I've just added just a bag of compost over the top just to kind of top dress it, just to add a little bit extra in. And like these three beds, the first three beds, literally just soil last year with nothing else added into it. So this is now like a bit of manure, a bit of compost. So yeah, and um, Glenn's just been clearing this corner, just show you what's just dug up. Literally, just found <laughs> these two pipes buried. No clue what they are, but yeah, they're like in the corner. So, I don't know, they might come in handy for summer. Um, 
So yeah, we'll go down now and get those strawberry plants. Right then, let's go get these strawberry plants. It's gorgeous here today. Um, I'll give you a quick span round. Quite a big site really. There's over 100 um, allotments. Um, and they're not council owned, they're privately owned. There's um, some big factories at the back there. And um, so these have been here, I think, over 100 years, these allotments. But the committee is just currently in the process of buying the land. So we will own the allotments, which is amazing. So we've raised enough funds. So yeah. Right, then the lady that said I could have the strawberry plants. So they're just here. And she's asked if I could take them out from between the raspberry canes to save her doing it. Um, it's a great a plot here up in the corner. Look at this. It's a really, they've got a huge one. They've been here forever. Look at that one up in the corner. Honestly, it's so organized. But anyway, here we go. And as you can see, there's just runners everywhere. So if I can try and take them from between the raspberry canes, that's the plan. So yeah, let's have a little look and I'll get digging. I've brought a, a seed sort of crate with me, a fork and my gloves, so I'll get cracking. So there's it. I'm back I've got quite a few plants I don't know how many I need but I don't want to get too many so I'm going to just remind myself of the spacing and then um, get them in so yeah it's manure compost all dug through so many robins around they're all singing here it is here's our little robin friend let's see you see him over there where is he there he is coming down He's having his brunch. See how close he'll come. This morning. Anyway, I suppose I better do some work. I think he's appreciating your digging, Glenn. Hmm. So I've just checked and it says to do them about 30 centimetres apart. Um, I've got my trowel, which has. Whoops! markings on it so I can kind of roughly gauge what 30 centimeters is and then yeah we'll just get them get them in and I don't think they're all runners I think they are actually main plants so we'll see I don't know if we'll get any fruit off them or not but it's better than not having anything in um, yeah we'll soon see if they start to flower then we can net them and yeah go from there cool Once I've got them all planted in and then we'll have another little chat. 
so that's them all planted i was gonna do just half a bed but then i thought why have the stress of worrying about them spreading because they are going to spread out they're like mad um i worry about trying to thin them out and them taking over any new plants or anything i've got in so i've just decided just to do a whole bed i don't know if they'll all take if they'll all grow fruit or whatever so just hedging my bets and then yeah i think that's why it's all right so we have something growing <laughs> in the plot at last Plus, if I am sniffing, I'm really sorry. I noticed in my video yesterday, I was sniffing like mad. I think it's just once you come out in the fresh air. <laughs> um, yeah, so apologies if I've been sniffing throughout. Uh, I shall try and be mindful of that in future. So yeah, here we are. Some strawberries at last. The birds are singing like mad. It's great. Just lovely. So I think I'm just going to have a little tidy up. I am not sure what Mr W is up to. Well, he's still working hard preparing that and there's a few people i've had a few little chat to some people as well which is really nice uh, people are sort of starting to come back down to the plot and things so yeah but it's nice just to have a little chat and see how people are and you know and make new friends and hopefully i'll get some hints and tips along the way i can't wait till we can see neighbors because we are kind of penned in at the moment but it's also quite nice to have a little bit of privacy too so um yeah brilliant um don't know if i meant to water them in or not but i'm going to just give them a little tiny drink like literally just a little bit just to let them settle in to their new home <laughs> right i'm just going to finish off we've got marked oh i'll tell you what i'm going to do actually before we go um as you know we're going to be putting the oops compost bins in so we've got our, this is like our boundary line, which I've re-established. And so I thought is what we'll do, we're gonna do like a row of slabs behind the compost bin. And then we'll put the compost bin in front of the slabs. That way it'll just stop anything coming up from behind. And then I think we're just gonna put like a temporary fence in or something like a barrier. Like a metal roofing sheet. Metal roofing sheets. <laughs> just to sort of help keep all of this back because it just gets a bit overwhelming really once it's sort of growing season we've got what's up then oh. what what are you pushing me for <laughs> go and fly is it? oh will you tell everyone oh, oh no i'm trying to film you just if you <laughs> he needs to learn he's going to interrupt me <laughs> he needs to be prepared to, <laughs> to say what he's doing he's pushing me i've got to say look how flat it is well done guys <laughs> You're very good. Smile. Oh. You are. He hates it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. We decided we're going to put like a row of slabs at the back, which I think will be quite good actually. Plus, then if we need to store anything behind, <coughs> we can do that. So yeah, I'm just going to finish off now. Just I'm going to give these a very slight watering. I think it's going to be another. It's been a really dry week. I know we had a little tiny bit of rain overnight. Not much. Um, the forecast looks like the next 10 days or so is going to be really dry as well. So yeah, I'll give them a little tiny water in, make them happy. And hopefully this summer we'll have some strawberries. So thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.